Okay, well, I would say there was a strong parental influence in both directions uh, when I was growing up. My father was a reservist for many years. He was a combat medic, and he was also in the Air Force, and he flew in the 45th um, Aeromed Evacuation Squadron out of Selfridge, Michigan. My mother, um, although she wasn't a nurse, had always wanted to be a nurse, and I guess between that and growing up and watching all those television shows like Marcus Welby and General Hospital, those kinds of things, I thought, oh, I could see myself as a nurse. And I've always been attracted to somebody wearing a uniform, and nurses wear uniforms, and so do soldiers. So that seemed to be a fit. And I just remember as a young child, I would, I would like to take my animals and treat them like they were my patients, and I'd have a little clinic set up in my bathroom, and I'd you know, I'd play nurse a lot. So a lot of that uh, was gearing me toward um, going into nursing. I, I see it as that. Well, I would say don't make that decision lightly. Um, nowadays, pretty much when you sign on the dotted line, you know at some point in your career you're going to mobilize. It's just going to happen. Um, it hasn't happened for me. I'm probably the last surviving career reservist. Not to say that it won't happen, but I've been in 27 years and I haven't been mobilized yet. And I'm due to retire in 2014. But that's not what the new soldiers coming on um, are told. They will likely mobilize. So you need to make sure that the family is aware. You need to have a good family care plan in the event that you are mobilized.